Welcome to Dr. Vickers' presentation on the Zachman Framework. What is the Zachman Framework, you ask? It's a method to create an enterprise architecture. What? You don't know what an enterprise architecture is? Then your enterprise is going to resemble this building. It's going to come tumbling down, flat, kaput. See, the framework is like a taxidermy, no, not a taxidermy, it's a taxonomy, meaning division into ordered groups. It's a method to categorize and organize all architectural artifacts within an enterprise. By artifacts, we mean not these type of artifacts, we mean the documents from the enterprise, all the analysis from the enterprise, now the model, oh, nice framework, but mm, not the this wrong type of model. We mean these type models. All the reports from the enterprise. And the re models, drawings, reports, analysis go into the, the Zachman framework. The Zachman framework is created from six perspectives. Uh, one of the designer. Second, the planner. Perspective from the implementer then from the owner, the subcontractor, and the functioning system. The information from the planner will go into a matrix. Row one meaning has to do with the scope as an executive summary. Row two, the information from the owner, is the business model. Designer will go into row three, the system model, data elements, software functions. The implementer is row four the technology model. Subcontractor will go into row five, the components. These are the models for implementation by contractors. Function and system then will go into the last row of the matrix, row six. This is the working system, meaning the operational system. Each perspective will answer six questions. First question is what? The relationship of the data. The second question will be how? Regarding business functions. Next question is where, dealing with locations. Next question is who, these are the people, for instance, stakeholders. When is the next question, these are the relationships of time events, etc., like schedules. Why is the next question asked? This is the motivation of all the goals, objectives, measurements, and so on. Six rows perspectives, six columns are the questions. We'll give 36 cells of framework aspects. These go into a matrix similar to this. The first uh, column is the perspectives. The first row at the top is the questions. The cells then contain the data. There are rules to follow. Rule number one, no order to the columns. Rule number two, columns are simple and basic. Number three, each column is unique. Number four, each row is distinct. Number five, cells are unique. Six, each row of cells forms a description. The Zachman framework is used by many large corporations, including the U.S. Treasury, Department of Defense, and many other enterprises. And this concludes the presentation on the Zachman framework. Thank you.